Hey YouTube, um, it's Enrique here. Just wanted to make a quick video responding to the silencing of Father Mark Goring in Houston, head of the Charismatic Center down there. Um, yesterday he posted that a YouTube video saying that he was told by a superior that he had to cease and desist from uh, the efforts he was doing to uh, rally Catholics to pray and to act to end the scandal, the sex scandal and the cover up. And he uh, apologized to his superiors. He apologized on YouTube. He removed many of his videos. And he said he was a man of obedience. And he quoted Sister Faustina of the Divine Mercy and her examples of submitting to her superiors. Okay, so um, I, in some ways, I respect his, um, his obedience to his superiors. But I do have um, a thought about this that I wanted to share that. Um, Vigano, Archbishop Carlo Vigano, who is an, uh, a hero for many Catholics in this time, who um, he broke his, his vow of s obedience and secrecy to the Vatican by writing that letter, or those, those, those uh, couple of, those few letters he's written, I forget if it's three or four now, but, um, and so he's uh, said that that vow of secrecy um, had to be broken in order to expose criminal activity that's endangering lives, which I think the cover-up is endangering lives by allowing predators to be out in public around kids and young people and seminarians. Um, so Sister Faustina had asked in her book, in her diary, she records how she asked her superiors if she could wear a hair shirt in the evenings or something, and her, her superior told her no, and she submitted to that decision. And Jesus was pleased. Okay, in that case, I just want to point out that there was no uh, illegal activity uh, happening. Uh, in Vigano's letter, in his case, he said there there is a illegal activity happening with the the cover up of bishops um, not uh, not pub not investigating uh, allegations against priests or not removing them from ministry. So uh, Father Goring. If you're listening, or if anyone out there just wants to just uh, add this to their to what they're thinking about this issue of silencing Father Goring, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, Father Goring is working to to bring an end to a cover up that is endangering lives to sexual abuse. Okay, it's different than obedience and obedience when there's not criminal activity happening. If it's an issue of my superior told me not to fast, not to wear a hair shirt, my superior told me not to start a convent or a monastery, then uh, or a religious order, okay, there's no exposing of criminal activities, nobody's life is in danger. But when you're trying to expose corruption that is endangering lives and putting uh, young people at risk and uh, covering and maybe even showing hmm, that people and people above you in the hierarchy maybe are not uh, following the laws of law enforcement in uh, handling allegations of abuse. Again, this is issues of law enforcement, criminal activities, investigation, and Father Goring, um, you are doing an awesome job. I admire you for uh, standing up, for speaking out. There are very few priests and bishops that have done that. Uh, you were one of them. Father John Hollowell was another, and uh, I think the one from uh, Tucson, Arizona, so it's an L, but, um, and then of course uh, Bishop Strickland here in Texas, and uh, Morlino, who recently passed Bishop Morlino, but um, again, there's, uh, you know, I could probably count them on my fingers, um, people, priests and bishops have spoken out very clearly, so I admire your efforts, and it makes me sad to think that you're going to be silenced. Keep continuing to pray. Uh, know that there are Catholics out here praying for you too. And um, even though the battle is maybe going more underground in your case, you're dealing with it through spiritual warfare, um, we're still praying united and keep up the good fight. And please consider that um, just the difference between submitting to the superior when there is not criminal activity that's uh, happening and when there versus when there is criminal uh, endangering endangerment of others uh, at stake here and so consider that 
uh, in your efforts and your work, whether it's public or secret, in your efforts to to bring an end to corruption in the church. Um, as laity, for people who aren't uh, submitted to, well, we're all submitted to the church if we're Catholic, but um, as laity, we must speak out about this issue. And if Father Goring, if you're going quiet, I pray that laity, that uh, as you go quiet, that hundreds of laity, maybe all those people who sent their picture to you, they, the uh, St. Joseph's Battalion, will now make videos and on your behalf where your mouth is closed. Maybe those people who send in their photos, if you're part, if you send a photo into to Father Mark Goring, uh, I challenge you to make, start making the same types of videos that uh, Father Goring was making. Well, now you do it. For, on his behalf where he can't, where he could lose his, um, you know, that's that's his employment, that's his career. I understand if I, I, I was a public school teacher for, uh, I just stopped teaching last year, and I understand that if you're a public school teacher, you can't speak out about issues concerning education or your own school district as you could if you're not a teacher, if you're just a parent. And so in his case, he, I could see how it's, it's hard for him to speak out on the, on the issue when that's his career. He could be, um, his superiors could directly discipline him and chastise him. So anyways, St. Joseph's Battalion, keep making videos, speak out, keep posting, and uh, God bless you. Um, we have to deal with this cover-up, this homosexual scandal in the church, of uh, people that have been abusive to seminarians and kids, and are, I don't know if it's blackmail, but um, St. Gallen Mafia, um, all this manipulation that's happening and covering up. And, uh, you know, there's, we still got Cardinal Supich and Cardinal um, uh, Wurl, Archbishop Wurl. Um, and there's plenty of others out there that need, we need to speak out, we need to pray, we need to fast. Keep saying the rosaries. I'm going to say a rosary right now for Father Mark Goring and for all those others who are... Um, in some ways chomping at the bit or just praying in their heart violently, shouting in their hearts and their prayers and their almsgiving and their fasting in the secret place, crying out to heaven for justice on behalf of the victims. God bless you. Um, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. God bless. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.